bit rate. It's not how fast someone bites their food. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today I'm going to show you how to change the bitrate of a file when you export files using Pinnacle Studio. I'm going to show you how to do that in Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate. So let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Alright Pinnacle Studio peeps, here we are in Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate. Now before I show you how to do this, I have to give you bitrate 101 so you understand what the heck you're doing, alright? Bitrate refers to the amount of data required to encode one second of video or audio. It's usually measured in megabits per second for video and kilobits per second for audio. Bitrate affects the video quality, the file size, and the bandwidth needed to view the video online. The higher the bitrate, the better the quality and the larger the file. Remember, all of this is independent of video codec and resolution which also affect the video quality and file size. In Pinnacle Studio, you can change the average bitrate or the peak bitrate based on the file format you select. The average bitrate allows the bitrate to fluctuate as high or low as it needs to for any second of video, but the bitrate for the entire file will be the number that you select. Pinnacle Studio allows you to select the average bitrate for the following file formats. The peak bitrate allows the bitrate to fluctuate up to a certain number for any second of the video, but the bitrate for the entire file can end up at any number equal to or lower than the peak bitrate that you select. Pinnacle Studio allows you to select the peak bitrate for the following file formats. Now that we're done with that, let me show you how to change the bitrate when you export a file to your computer using Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate. So once you have all of your video edited and you're ready to go, you want to click on the export tab. After you click on export, you select the file format that you want in order to get the bitrate options. You need to select one of the file formats that I showed you earlier in the video. So once you select that file format, and I have mine set to MPEG-4 right now. You want to go to the preset option. There's several options under preset and the one that we want to select is custom. Now that we've selected our file type and our preset is selected as custom, we want to click on advanced. When you click on advanced under the settings option, you'll see a settings section for video. And under that section for MP4, you have a peak bit rate. And I have mine set to eight megabits per second. You can change that all you want. And I have mine usually set to eight megabits per second because this is the megabits per second that YouTube recommends for a 1920 by 1080 MPEG-4 file that is 24 frames per second. They're very specific about what bitrate you can use for the resolution, file type, and the frame rate of your video. So I have mine set on 8. Now, I'm going to click on Apply. If I were to click something like uh, MPEG-2, and I have it set to Custom, you see that after I click on advanced, I have peak bit rate and average bit rate on this one. So I have more flexibility on this when I say, hey, I don't want it to go higher than eight megabits per second, but um, you know, I'm okay with the average bit rate being around six megabits per second for the entire video. 
or eight for the entire video, whatever the case may be. I also have bitrate control for this one so I could choose a variable uh, bitrate or a constant bitrate. So I have those options as well. So constant bitrate means that the bitrate is going to stay the same throughout the video. It's not even, so as you can see when I chose constant bitrate, the option for average bitrate went away because now it said it's saying, hey, there is no average because I can't move and fluctuate up and down. I can only peak out at eight. As a matter of fact, I can't even do anything lower than eight because he selected constant bit rate. So it's going to be eight bit rate or eight megabits per second throughout the entire video. If I go back to variable bit rate, you'll notice that my average bit rate option returns. And now I can say, hey, I want my bit rate to fluctuate because I have it on variable bit rate. And I want it to be average of six. So it can go up to eight because my peak bit rate is eight. And it can go anything lower than six as long as it averages six megabits per second at least for the entire video. And it never goes higher than eight megabits per second. So there's a lot of flexibility that you can give yourself based on the file format that you select. Because this one is MPEG-2. There's just more flexibility and more options with this file format than the first one that I had it on, which was MPEG-4. So once you're done, you just select the location where you want to uh, save your file on your computer. And then you click on Start Export. And you're good to go. Now, share with the rest of the group what's the bit rate that you use for your productions. Where do you save them to? Send them to the cloud. Do them on uh, Facebook, on uh, YouTube, whatever the case may be. Why do you need to have? Uh, why do you need to be able to change the bit rate on your videos? What are you using your videos for? All that good stuff. Share it in the comments below so that all of our viewers can be in and know on why you're watching this video and what you needed it for. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching the video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. If you got any questions, you got any tutorial requests, make sure that you leave those in the comment section below. Always click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. It lets people know that the content in this video is muy bueno. Also, make sure that you smash the subscribe button. When you smash the subscribe button, you get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube so that you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.